Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Cannon. And I'm Riley. We hope you're having a terrific Tiger Tuesday. Let's take it to Chase with a story on Coffee Bar. Hello Tigers, I'm Chase. Have you ever been running late for school and you didn't get a chance to grab any coffee? Or maybe you go to Starbucks and realize you only have $15 and that isn't going to cover your double chocolate chip frappuccino with three pumps of white chocolate, two pumps of hazelnut syrup, half oat milk, half almond milk with chocolate syrup drizzled on top with a squirt of whipped cream? Well, there's a solution coming soon. FCCLA is starting a coffee bar fundraiser to build a water pump through the organization Design Outreach. Design Outreach provides water pumps to people all over the world who don't have easy access to it. Let's get some more details from these FCCLA students. Hello Warsaw Tigers, I'm Jared Kinnear. Hi, I'm Izzy Herman. And I'm Maggie Verkolder. One in three people globally do not have access to safe water. Design Outreach has a play in this because they're providing long-lasting water pumps to people all over the world. A life pump is an innovative water pump designed to reach deeper and last longer than traditional water pumps today. FCCLA has partnered with Design Outreach to support this project. Starting December 1st, we'll be selling coffee right here in the Pack Rotunda every Wednesday and Friday starting from 7.15 to 7.45. We will be selling canned coffee drinks for $4. We hope to see you there. We accept Venmo, Cash App, and Cash. All proceeds will go directly to Design Outreach. Thank you so much for your support, Tigers. Thanks, Chase. Now let's tune in to Sutton while she explains a little bit more about the high school food pantry. Hey Tigers, have you wondered how our food pantry works and how you could help out? I sat down with Mrs. Leinbach to learn more. My favorite thing is getting to meet the kids that come in um, and letting them know that, like, yeah, we're here to help them learn and help them prepare for their futures, but we also do genuinely care about how they are at home and the fact that they um, trust us enough to come to the food pantry and take what they need has been just really awesome and I've loved every minute. Oh boy, we go through a lot of cereal and like a lot of protein bars. Um, mac and cheese and ramen are always huge. And then like hygiene products like deodorant for boys and girls, um, the different smells. And we have toothbrushes and toothpaste. The very last period of the day, students can come into my room no one is in here. They don't have to, you know, collect their groceries in front of everyone, and then they can just take it and go and get right on the bus. So if they talk to their teachers and ask for a pass to the food pantry during seventh period, I will be here to help them with whatever they need. The impact has been a pretty big deal. It's amazing to be able to provide things for students who um, they just might not be able to get out and get to the grocery store, or they might have to wait a little bit till their next payday. Um, so being able to provide things when students are hungry is a big deal. Make sure to check out the Food Pantry Tigers. This has been Sutton with WCSN. Thanks, Sutton. You know, I love Mario. I'm more of a Kirby kind of girl. Hey, Tigers. The Super Smash Brothers tournament for Riley was last Wednesday. Let's take a quick look. The first place and second place winners were Mr. L and Noah Scott. Thanks, Ryan. I'm glad we have a way to settle our beef. Now taking it to Layla with the new Undercover Fun segment. My name is Layla Barker. I'm a senior at WCHS, and I'm going undercover. I'm what some would consider disliked or annoying based on our YouTube comment section. But I'm on a mission to get the inside scoop on what's going on around our school. But because of my haters, I can't do it like this. Emma and I are going to work some of our theater kid magic to make me unrecognizable. I'm kind of scared. Emma doesn't really seem to know what she's doing. And my life is pretty much in her hands. You're not like allergic to anything, right? Like what? I don't know, like super glue? So today the bandages are coming off and I'm honestly 
really scared? <sighs> I've done it again. You're unrecognizable. You've never looked better. Honestly, I am so impressed. Nobody's ever going to be able to guess that it's me under here. Hey, Layla. So we're here at Tiger Central. This is really going to be the ultimate test of my disguise. Um, I'm really excited, I'm really scared. A lot has led me to this point, and I think it's just time to put it to the test. I think it's stuck. <laughs> so it actually looks like I forgot student council isn't until after school on Tuesdays. Thanks, Layla. Now taking you over to Griffin with speech and debate. Here at WCHS, we have a fast-growing speech and debate program. So let's see what the speech and debate team does from Monday to Saturday during the competition season. I'm really excited to compete again in a bunch of the different competitions this year because I get to meet a bunch of different kids from other schools and I've met a lot of friends from other schools so I get to see them again and hopefully I'll get to qualify for nationals this year. I enjoy, and like this is going to sound really weird, but I enjoy getting up really early and meeting everyone on the bus and even though we're all a bit cranky in the morning, it's still the excitement that you feel with everyone and everyone has so many joys and ideas on how it's all going to go and then you get there and it's completely different. Like I've woken up mornings where I'm like, I can't do this, this isn't going to be great, this is going to be terrible and I get, while I may not succeed during the meets like I feel like I should be able to, it ends up being way better than I ever expected it to be and I prove to myself that I can do it even when I don't feel like doing it. All right, so today is a Thursday, so we mainly have inter-practice today, and then Wednesday is a public address. And during these practices, we break out into smaller groups to practice our pieces in front of other competitors as well in our team. Grace right now is giving an etiquette lesson to our novice members who just joined the team this year. And it's really important that we give those lessons to our novice so that they're able to get better rankings within rounds during competition. And it's pretty fun. So right now we're about to head out for competition to go to Plymouth High School and it's currently 6.50. So we're about to leave really soon. So I guess we just have to wait until we get there. So we'll see you there. How are you feeling for today? I am so freaking excited and nervous. It's gonna be awesome and nerve-wracking. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, it's my first one, so I'm like kind of scared, but you know, we're gonna kill it, hopefully. I'm super excited and I am ready for this. Ready, to be here. ready but nervous. Let's go. I think I'm pretty good. I was, <laughs> I didn't go over time, so we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Um, well, the mics weren't working initially in my round. I'm in broadcasting and um, I had to be the one to test them, so I was kind of nervous, but after I kind of went, I was, I'm was i feeling pretty good. Well, I think I did good. Um, the, the person, the judge in my humor, he could not stop smiling, so I think I did good. All right, so I feel like this year, our team is just absolutely incredible. We are filled with so much new talent and all these freshmen and the returning veterans are also doing amazing. I knew VAR and a lot of other people got their first places. And I feel like overall, our team is just gonna be really amazing. We have so much potential for this new season. Oh, um, as for this meet, I say it's a success. We got third place at overall. We sent so many people over to placing. Um, I think it's a current record for us for how many uh, members we got actually placing in events. Um, I honestly can't wait to see what the season is. Thanks, Griffin. That's all the school news we have for you today. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a terrific Thanksgiving, Tigers.